So if you're wondering, this is the same cornfield that I've been updating y'all on. This is the one where I gave updates on the silk and the tassels on the corn. But if you look, the cobs are making, turning into, uh, they have corn kernels on them and that is doing pretty good. And that's the same for all the corn that's throughout here. So in some of my earlier farm update videos, this is the corn that I was giving updates on and it does have some dimples and this is what it looks like. So this cob of corn is 36 long and it has 16 rows and now we're going to break it open and we're going to discuss the starch line that it has. Yeah, I'll have my boss explain it. So you can see the starch line is the dark yellow that's moving down. I'm going to say we're at about 30% starch at this point. Uh, we're looking at maybe another three weeks till possible black layer. And at that point we can terminate irrigation. So this field was sprayed with the drone and this is what it looks like. How many days since it was sprayed? About five or six days after it was sprayed. And you can see that the grass is starting to die and the beans are coming up. This is another row rise field. I did film myself putting out poly pipe in this field, I think. And as you can tell, it is putting out a bunch of heads and it should be a pretty good harvest. people don't know what I'm doing I'm over here popping holes in this poly pot and this makes it where the beans are watered and this is I think a 15 inch pipe and we're gonna do 60 inch beds even though they're on 30 my cousin went through and cleaned out the 60 inches and so we're doing every other fur just pop a hole and it goes down and waters the beans all the way through the field so we're out here in this cornfield right here and we um, took out about four cobs of corn and we looked at their starch line. And as you can see, it is near that red right here. And we call that about 70, 80% starch line. And we tore one off. And if we look at it, it is starting a brown slash black tip. We pulled one earlier that was black. This one's brown. And that means we need to stop irrigation, which we did and we did pull the spill that was holding back the water into the corn. This is another one of my uh, boss slash cousin's uh, row rice fields. And as you can see, it is 9,500% headed out.
So here is some earlier May planted beans and we are watering on them right now. As you can see, it is pumping water and this is called uh, flowering or early pod set stage. And this is Armor 40 Enlist Beans. So I just got uh, the tractor stuck. I was uh, bush hogging up and down this uh, little berm slash ditch area thing right here. And I just slid off into the ditch and there, we're gonna go grab the other tractor to pull it out because when we put it in low range, you know, like A1, it just kept on sliding down. So we're getting the other tractor and we're gonna pull it out. So we'll see how it does it. About 40 to 45 days ago, I made a comparison video of these beans that were planted by the Max Emergence Planter to compare to the field that's up north that was planted by the drill. And now we're going to compare them. And these beans are about knee height or so, and they are in flowering stage, which is where they have some purple flowers and stuff. And these were planted about 40 to 45 days ago. So these beans right here are the drilled beans that were planted the day before those beans. And they are also in a similar flowering stage. And they are having a little bit better of a stand than the planted beans. And it will be interesting to see how the yield compares by bushels per acre from this field to that field. On the first video that I posted of me working on my cousin's farm titled Bijin Farms, I uh, showed this rice and it was not very tall. And then also a couple weeks ago, I gave an update on this rice. And now it's this video is going to be my last day of working on the farm. And this rice is completely headed out. It's about two weeks or so away from finding a potential uh, date of uh, draining. And then it's about 21 to 28 days away from harvest that's what we hope and it is overall a pretty nice looking rice crop and make sure you like and subscribe and watch out for some more of my content and share uh, this video with some of your peers because it's greatly appreciated have a great day